Now, if you go to a Zen teacher, he'll say, well, I have nothing to teach. There is no problem. Everything's perfectly clear. And you think that one over. And you say, he's probably being cagey. <clears throat> but the teacher says, quite honestly, I haven't anything to tell you. I don't teach anything. I have no doctrine. As I said to you in the beginning of this talk, I have nothing whatsoever to sell you. So the student thinks, my, this is very deep because <laughs> this nothing that he's talking about, this nothing that he teaches, is what they call in Buddhism shunyata, and it's supposed to be the ultimate reality. But as you know, if you know anything about these doctrines, this doesn't mean real nothingness, not kind of just nothing there at all, not just blank, but it means no thingness. It's the transcendental reality behind all separate and individual things, and that's something very deep and profound. So he knows that when the teacher said, I have nothing to teach, he meant this very esoteric no thing. Well, he might also say, then, if you have nothing to teach, what are all these students doing around here? <laughs> and the teacher says, they are not doing anything. They are just... Uh, they're, they're just a lot of stupid people who live here. And he knows again, you see, this stupid doesn't mean just straight stupid, but the higher stupidity of being people who are humble and don't have intellectual pride. <laughs>